Is this you? This is me, actually, as a little baby on the road with uh, my parents. When they Flipping were, through yeah. a family scrapbook, reminiscing yeah. like about life yeah, before now, a life we were a part uh, of but can't remember. This is the first memory I have at that age, five years of age, when that letter arrived. And my father said, we're going, and my mother said, no, we're not. This walk down memory lane isn't unusual unless your father was Johnny Cash's manager. I tell people, friends and strangers, all the time, if you have an issue with one of your parents, resolve it now because you won't find a storage locker full of 60 hours of audio diaries like I did. Nanaimo's Jonathan Holliff's father, Saul Holliff, spent most of his career on the road with Johnny Cash. He was the man behind the man in black, a manager, a promoter, and a friend. This is Saul visiting uh, June in character probably on Little House on the Prairie in the early 1970s. Saul Holliff committed suicide in 2005 on this couch, in this room, in this condo in Nanaimo. Jonathan was left angry and empty thinking he had missed any opportunity to make peace with a man he barely knew. I was just one of millions of sons who have unresolved issues with their father, fathers or daughters with their mothers. And among those people, one of those uh, people who blame everything on the old man, every wrong in my life was attributable to my father, Saul. But then Jonathan was presented with an unintentional gift a storage locker full of answers. He began taking notes and the notes turned into a script and the script is now a movie and the movie has met with critical acclaim at film festivals all over the world. If I've learned one thing from this experience is that uh, he's not to blame and that I had to take personal responsibility for my own life. And in taking responsibility, Jonathan has found forgiveness in parallel stories he and his father, and his father and Johnny Cash. And Saul wasn't just Cash's manager, he promoted the Carnegie Hall show. He put up the money uh, for the venue, and it was a big deal for a Canadian to be doing such a show there at that time. Johnny Cash was arrested yesterday. Jonathan spent seven years making the movie that was shot on 35 millimeter film. Prior to this, he was the president of the Hollywood Madison Group in Los Angeles. He's hired hundreds of stars, including Martin Scorsese, Dennis Hopper, and Jessica Simpson for Fortune 500 companies. This is his directorial debut, and the film has won numerous awards at film festivals around the world. I lived in fear of being on camera, and I hate the sound of my own voice. So I shelved the movie for nine months because I was told there was no other to way to make it unless I was going on a journey, maybe in a car, to all the places Johnny and Saul visited. And so I said no to that. But then I realized the story was really to be found in the storage locker. And so I managed to be there, but not really there, and I never actually speak to the camera. In the end, My Father and the Man in Black is a film about much more than a musical icon and the manager who guided him. It's a story about forgiveness and family and reconciliation. It was truly a gift in the way that it allowed me to move on with my own life and, and heal my whole family, really, in making this film. My Father and the Man in Black features never-before-seen images of Johnny Cash, narrated by the people who were there and experienced Johnny the Good and Cash the Bad firsthand. It's a personal story about a son in search of his father, the man behind the Man in Black. In Nanaimo, I'm Kate Bergen.